I'm depressed. I got you! I got you! I am fucking hot as balls in here. Oh! Okay, let's cut the shit. We got some very unfortunate news today. Um, but also kind of good news, I guess, for some fans, maybe. Um, the Batman Part 2 has been delayed another fucking year, and I can't believe it, guys. I will be on the road to 21 when that comes out. It sucked that I had to wait a year. And I, I, I personally don't want to be the fan that, like, rushes things and, like, complains about everything. It's like, when is this going to happen? Like, I have patience, but... The Batman's a different story. <laughs> it is this to me. Um, there's two outcomes I can see it going to. Um, one, this could be great news for me. Because even though it's held back another year, they have more time to think of a story. Um, villains, they have time to take their time on that, so... Maybe it'll turn out even better. And then there's the other part of me is, oh, I'm going to wait four years. I'm going to watch it, and it becomes absolute dog shit. And I don't want that to happen. So I hope you heed my warning, Matt Reeves. Take your time on it. Don't be afraid to make it a little goofy. Well, it can be grounded and realistic and still have a fucking monstrous clay face. I mean, Gotham Knights, that's a dark storyline, right? T I'm telling you right now, you make, there, it's rumored to be that Clayface is going to be the villain in the part two, so I, I don't want to, it's rumored, okay? So I don't want to put any false information out there, but if you take the monstrous Clayface from the comics and do the kind of design from like Batman Gotham Knights or something like a monstrous, creepy Clayface, that will work perfectly in this universe i think make him dark and gritty but don't make him like goofy like the goofiness is there because batman has rogues galleries that are like absolutely ridiculous polka dot man come on but they made him serious i mean there's plenty of examples i just hope they have the time to make it right you know this better be worth the wait honest to god it better be worth the wait and i'm pretty excited for the Batman Part 2, and I've always been excited for the Batman Part 2. There's been rumors that people, the fans want Dr. Freeze in this universe, that people want Hush in this universe, and I think those are all good villains. But I'd be lying if I didn't say I never wanted Clayface in an ad adaptation of Batman. <laughs> and I think Clayface could really work, especially with Batman's identity and kind of stuff like that. I think that could be a really cool storyline. I don't want to make... I, I, I don't want them to make a very dull and boring Batman. You know what I mean? Or, like, sorry, Clayface. That's what I meant. Not Batman. <laughs> I don't want him to make a dull Clayface where he just mold his face and then he's a different person. That's... That's bogus because everything's grounded in series. That's why I like the Batman. Even though this first movie was grounded and realistic, there was still some elements that weren't very realistic. And that's where I think the Dark Knight trilogy suffers from. It's too realistic, and it's too afraid to go down that goofy route. Like Bane, for example. Don't get me wrong. Bane. Tom Hardy's Bane. A performance, once in a lifetime. But I felt like he could have done a lot better. Now here's why. Bane was grounded and realistic. Can you can you just fucking imagine for a second if we got Christian Bale's Batman against like a fucking monstrous Bane and Tom Hardy playing him and not afraid to make him look comic accurate and like have him like muscular or like weigh like fucking t ten times the size of Batman. Imagine if we got that. You know? It would still be grounded and realistic, but Batman's Batman's villains are what makes Batman, if that makes sense to you guys. And I really hope Matt Reeves' trilogy 
Like he's doing absolutely phenomenal. The, the, the beginning. The beginning. For the beginning of a new trilogy. Absolutely phenomenal. He's got the detective part down for Batman. He's got the darkness. Within the first 10 minutes of the Batman, it sets the tone of the film and sets the tone of a new trilogy. It sets the tone of Gotham. I felt like all the other Batman movies didn't, it didn't really feel like Gotham. Yeah, you knew crime was going on and you knew stuff was going on by like Harvey Dent and all that. I feel like in the Batman, it's explored a lot better. It's actually shown, it's, its presence is there. And that's why I respect the Batman. And the reason why I want a part two so goddamn badly right away is because the movie's a masterpiece. And that's exactly what Matt Reeves is doing right. He's making a fan, a serious Batman fan like me, get hyped for another sequel. It's gonna be the same thing if he does, if he hits like the Batman part two is a huge success and it's better than the Batman, which I'm sure it will if he takes his time on it. Imagine the hype for the third Batman movie. Imagine, but there's one problem, save the Joker. Please, save the Joker. Don't, the fucking Joker has too many screen appearances in my opinion. Yeah, Heath Ledger's performance once in a lifetime. Absolute, rest in peace, Heath Ledger. Seriously, man, you did absolute, you stole the show. But let other villains shine. And I don't want the Batman part two to be afraid. And if they're gonna have Mr. Freeze, have the sad, dark, greedy storyline he has in the comics. But don't, don't make him like corny, like fucking Batman Robin corny, but don't be afraid to make him like Batman and Robin, if you know what I mean. Like, he still has the freeze gun. He can still freeze people. It's going to be still grounded realistic, but it's just how you present it makes it realistic. Let's be honest. If Batman was a real superhero, it, it, that would be the most realistic it could get. I cannot wait till the Batman Part 2. Is it unfortunate that it got held back? Yes. But like I said, two outcomes. One, it's gonna I'm gonna wait so long and it's gonna be shit. Or two, I'm fucking pumped for this and it's gonna be worth the wait. Guys, I want you guys to tell me your opinions about this. And I know it's really devastating for some fans, but honestly, I hope it's worth the wait. But that's all my thoughts and that's all I got for you guys. So peace out.